Yeah. My name's Levi Beaver. <laughs> did you enjoy being in the uh, being in the IBM competition? Uh, yeah, I really did. I thought it was really intriguing and innovative at the same time. Uh, we use software that I've never used personally before, and I'm kind of like a closed mind thinker, or I'm extremely creative. And um, the IBMers kind of taught me like how to narrow it and then widen it to try to like enhance your creativity while having a narrow focus on something. So I thought it was really cool and I really liked the way that we did things and being in it because it really boosted my confidence and taught me that like just ideas can be more than just ideas. What was it like to win this competition? Uh, surprising. I mean, when I first thought of the competition, it was just an idea that was in my head. And I was like, hey, an idea is an idea, you know how often they actually happen and then I met with them and they taught me that like this is an actual thing and then when I won it really showed me that really anyone can do anything if you can find the right people and have the right uh, knowledge and perseverance to go through it and actually think of it and that's kind of what the IBMers and Josh did for me. What was it like meeting and working with a bunch of IBM staffers? crazy in one word. I mean, the most influential people I've ever met have been teachers and I mean, in IBM or I've worked on computers my whole life. I've never met someone that actually knew how to work a computer that way or knew how to use that kind of software and had that much knowledge about the topic. And they just knew and said things that I never even thought about with my own idea that was in my head and that was super surprising and crazy to me. What would you say to somebody that doesn't have a technological idea, but just has a humanitarian passion? Uh, even if you don't think it's technological, in a way you can make it be. Kind of like how mine was with it was just going to be a building, and they turned it into a whole course, into a virtual reality and stuff like that. Will you recommend that others join the competition? Yeah. I mean, if you have an idea or a dream and you want it to be a reality, this is probably the most baseline and best way to go about it because they're going to say things that you think in your head before you even think about telling them to them and it's just going to be surprising and crazy to watch your own dream in your head burst into reality.